Here I've got a nice viewer suggestion. And if you guys wanna make a suggestion, I'm always happy to get them. And if it doesn't seem like I've gotten around to yours, well, I get a lot of suggestions. And also I make videos like a long time ahead of time. So I'll make videos like all at once and then I'll give them to the student that edits them. And sometimes it's a month or more before the video is actually released. So sometimes you just have to hold tight. Okay, this problem comes from the 2013 Chennai Math Institute entrance exam. So this is a university in India. And our goal is to determine all polynomials with real coefficients. So I've written that as f of x is in r adjoin x, satisfying the following functional equation. So we have f composed with itself, in other words, f of f of x, is equal to f of x to the 2013 to match with the year. Okay, so this is a fairly short problem, but I like it. And we're gonna break it into two cases. The first case is if f is a constant polynomial. So this is kind of like the boring case or the most quick case. And then the second case will be f is a non-constant polynomial. Okay, so let's jump into this first case. So if f of x is a constant polynomial, that means that f of x is identically equal to c, which is a real number, and this is going to be true for all real numbers x. That's what it means to be a constant polynomial. Regardless of the input, we always get the same output. But now we can just set x equal to c, and we'll see that we get f evaluated at c is c. Now we can start using our functional equation over here. So we have C is the same thing as F evaluated at F of C. Again, because it's a constant polynomial, but that's gonna be the same thing as F of C to the 2013, but that's C to the 2013. But now putting all of this calculation together, we see that we have formed the equation C equals C to the 2013, which means C must come from the set zero plus minus one. So it is indeed possible for F to be a constant polynomial, but it can only be the constant polynomial which is identically zero, identically one, or identically minus one. Okay, now that we've covered this first case, let's move on to the second, where f is a non-constant polynomial. And we're gonna use the fact that non-constant polynomials take on an infinite number of values. So I think that's pretty clear from the end behavior. So notice if it's an even polynomial and the leading coefficient is positive per se, then that means it tends towards infinity in both directions. But if it tends towards infinity, then that means it's gonna take on infinitely many values. And then the same kind of thing happens for an odd polynomial as well. So we know that this thing, like I said, takes on an infinite number of values. That's gonna be the first observation that we make. So I'll use the fact that f is a non-constant polynomial to imply that the image of f, so the image of f is also known as the range of f or the set of all values that f takes. So this would be all f of x as x runs through all real numbers. That would be another way to write it. So this has infinitely many elements. So the set taking on infinitely many values is the same thing as saying that the image takes on infinitely many elements. Okay, so now that we've got this, let's take an arbitrary A in the image of F. Okay, but let's notice that that means that A equals F of T for some real number T. That's the definition of being inside the image is that you can be hit by the function for some element of the domain. Okay, good. Now let's start applying this functional equation. So let's maybe notice this. F evaluated at F of T is the same thing as F of T to the 2013. Let's start with that. 
But now this f evaluated f of t is exactly f evaluated at a from the line right above. And then this guy over here is a to the 2013 from, again, this functional equation. There's not much to it. Okay, but let's look at this equation that we formed. We have f of a equals a to the 2013. That tells us that f of a minus a to the 2013 is equal to zero. But that makes a the root of a certain polynomial. And let's write that as follows. So a is a root of a polynomial which I'll call g of x, which is equal to f of x minus x to the 2013. That's because if we compute g of a, we clearly get zero from this construction that we've done. But let's go up here and recall that the image of f has infinitely many elements. So that tells us that g of x is a polynomial with infinitely many roots because this a was taken arbitrarily from the image and shown to be a root of g of x. But there's only a single polynomial with infinitely many roots. Again, this is a well-known result. And that is the zero polynomial. So that tells us that g of x equals zero, and that's gonna be true for all x in R. So it's the zero polynomial. Okay, but if g of x is equal to zero, keeping in mind the definition of g of x up here, we see that f of x is equal to x to the 2013. So there we have our non-constant solution here x to the 2013 to go along with our constant solutions which we described over here, which are zero and plus and minus one. And that's a good place to stop.